Oh my goodness, Tim, I'm so tired of this. I just cannot deal with using these broken AirPods. It's been one and a half years since I've bought these and yet they keep breaking. Oh, I sure love my AirPods Pro because oh boy, this noise cancellation works so well. Are you seriously ignoring me right now? Oh my goodness, Alpha, you are so annoying to listen to. I'm so tired of this. This design evidently is broken. Why won't they just update it so that way- Oh, you're so annoying. Why do you have to keep complaining about this? Here, you know what, let's just, here, here's AirPods Pro 2, here, just, Take it. Take it. Review it. Do whatever. I'm done with listening to you. Okay. Um, all right. Let's, let's begin. Okay. I know I'm a lot late to this review, but you know what? I figured it's better to get it out now than never. And also I wanted to reflect on my favorite product that came out in the year 2022. I was originally thinking of making a video of my 16 inch MacBook Pro, but the problem was despite that, yeah, I got it in the year 2022 because uh, let's just say funding was not happening fast enough at the time, but I did get it at the beginning of 2022. The 16 inch MacBook Pro came out in 2021 and hasn't been touched since so because of that it just doesn't make sense to use that as a re reflection video on the best product of 2022 but these these have to be it actually so because the tech that came out last year was honestly so boring to the point where i wasn't even interested that much even with a lot of what apple had to put out there was just a lot that they announced and released that i just wasn't all that interested in because of that i can't even think of what products to rank for my top 10 best and worst in tech of 2022 video so because of that i'm actually going to scrap that video i've tried to make it a yearly tradition but the amount of tech that came out last year was so boring that i just wasn't interested enough so you know what we're going to replace that type of video with my favorite product that came out in 2022 which is airpods pro 2. so if you've watched some of my previous videos you might be aware that i have had a lot of issues with airpods pro 1 and they were not necessarily in the sound quality or feature department it was actually the reliability department. That was the problem. With my previous pair of AirPods Pro, it just kept having this problem where every six months it would just turn off noise cancellation and transparency features and I have no clue why it does that. I've sent them back to Apple twice and the third time it happened, it was outside the warranty period because of course it was. And in order to replace those buds again, doing the exact same thing that they did while it was under warranty, it would have cost this exact same amount of money as it would to buy a brand new pair. So I put up with those broken AirPods until these things came out. And boy, oh boy, I really hope that these do not have that exact same reliability problem that I am having with the previous gen. So because reliability has yet to be seen, although I'll, I will say the first four months of using these have been absolutely amazing. Why do I think these AirPods are so great? Well, it's actually because they got an improvement in almost every single category you can think of. The case got a brand brand new design where uh, now it has a speaker and a mic, well, it looks like a microphone, though I don't know why it would have a microphone to be honest, but it has a speaker and a new lanyard loop. And actually, yeah, back to the speaker. What's so cool about that speaker? Find my. I can't tell you how many times I have lost my previous pair of AirPods. Of course I found them. In fact, actually, here's my previous generation AirPods that, yeah, I still keep them, but uh, I have constantly lost these all the time. Meanwhile, AirPods Pro 2, every time I've lost them, I've been able to find them in less than a minute because thank you speaker and well, speaking of which, it also has the U1 chip so I can use precision finding to find them as well. And the other detail about the case, I mean, yeah, it's got the lanyard loop, but I really don't care about that. I do not attach these to a lanyard. I don't actually see why I would want to do that anyways. But the other detail that I really like that they changed with the case, it can now charge on the Apple Watch charge puck. It is so convenient when I have multiple devices I need to charge at once on road trips because on road trips it is very inconvenient to have to pack a huge brick of USB ports, especially when you basically can't find a huge brick full of type C ports because you know me, type C everything. So because of that, having the ability to charge on the Apple Watch charge puck is so convenient when I need to charge four devices. I can have two of them charging at one point and then swap them for the other two. What devices am I charging? Both of my iPhones. Yes, I bring my tennis max on road trips and it's because it is very helpful to have a backup camera every now and then that or a second camera. So of course I bring both of my iPhones with me. My Apple Watch and my AirPods Pro. They all wirelessly charge. So round one, I 
I charge up my iPhone 13 Pro Max and my Apple Watch first, and then I charge up my iPhone Tennis Max and my AirPods Pro second. Only taking a MagSafe charger and an Apple Watch charger. Nice. Well, that's enough of the case. Let's talk about the actual buds themselves. The buds got massive improvements in so many areas to the point where I'm blanking on a lot of them, to be honest. But let's start with something that I've actually had a bit of a complaint with the previous gen. Battery life. Battery life was a big annoyance for me. Why is that? Because the previous gen only got four hours of battery life before you have to recharge it. And that four hours actually comes up very quickly for me. I have AirPods in my ears a lot, especially when I'm at work. Not only just because, well, I gotta keep myself from getting bored of doing the exact same thing every single time, but also because they function as a great pair of earplugs. And that's why I got the pros. It's because I need that noise cancellation. I need it a lot. And the transparency mode is very helpful too. But my problem was I could not make it through a full work day with those. I'd have to take them out of my ears at some point just to charge them. Meanwhile, these, they last an entire shift. I can promise you that. So despite that, yeah, the battery life is only six hours on one charge and not a full eight hours, which is how long a typical work day is, eight hours. The thing is, there's enough time where I actually leave work to go get some lunch and come back to work with my lunch. I need to eat lunch. While that entire whole debacle of going to get lunch is happening, I put my AirPods back in the case to charge. And if I were to do that with my previous AirPods, um, I couldn't do it actually. I, I kid you not, I could not do that with my previous AirPods. I'd have to charge them even before I head out to lunch. So the battery lives on these things improved sweet. In fact, it is very rare that I actually use the full six hours on one charge. It is very rare that happens. Yeah, battery life, that's appreciated. The next thing I want to talk about, and this is sort of an improvement, I'm glad that they made this improvement, but well, it could be better if I'm being honest. It's the new volume controls. Apple has now added a new volume control on the stems of the AirPods where you basically do a swiping gesture to actually turn up the volume or turn it down. However, the actual sensitivity of that is very questionable. I I get it to work like 50% of the time. So, okay, it works, but it could be better. All right, so it's time to talk about the last thing. And I'm a bit of an audiophile, so that means I can notice these differences a lot. Sound. Now, something that Apple has mentioned is that they've actually improved the sound quality of AirPods Pro too. And I have to say, um, they're actually not joking. Now, I don't know if these improvements would be noticeable to non-audiophiles like myself, but I do notice the difference. There is a much wider range in terms of band and also trebles. I noticed some more trouble that my previous pair of AirPods just couldn't get. Vocals are even clearer as well. And yeah, they actually did a really good job with the sound signature. They improved it. And of course, considering how much I listen to music and the fact that I'm an audiophile, it makes sense that I would enjoy this. And then finally, we got to move on to noise cancellation and transparency mode. Transparency mode is one of those features that basically you try it once and you cannot live without. I love having the ability to be at work and working on a machine and my boss walks up to me, oh, turn off noise cancellation, turn on transparency mode so that way I can have a full conversation with them without having to take my AirPods out of my ears. That's nice. It that's really convenient. Oh, and not to mention, yeah, transparency mode, it is literally the best transparency you can get on any earbud. Basically, every other earbud, they try it, but nah, I'm sorry. These, these, these take the cake. Meanwhile, noise cancellation, this is the biggest problem that I have with it. I actually notice a bit of a downgrade in noise cancellation. Now, it's not significant. In fact, it actually requires a specific event to actually notice the downgrade. What's the problem? When an extreme sonic disturbance happens, happens within the environment, say I blast the air gun to blow off metal shavings from either the table or a part per se. Every time I blast it, it causes a huge sonic disturbance and these things do not like huge sonic disturbances. Now, the way AirPods Pro first generation handle it was it basically just turned off transparency and noise cancellation while that extreme disturbance was going on because it basically couldn't handle it. These are trying to handle it, but it is they are not doing a good Good job. Whenever I blast the air gun, it tries to filter it out, but oh, you get this awful crackling noise. It is so bad and it's loud too. I think this has something to do with Apple trying to make it more of an adaptive ANC and transparency mode where it can filter out specific sounds like sirens or something. And it might be trying to filter out the blast of the air gun, but it also might not be at the same time. I'm not too sure. These things are really confused every time I blast the air gun or when another extreme extremely loud sonic disturbance happens. 
These things, they don't handle sonic disturbances very well at all. But in terms of that, um, once again, uh, transparency, it's the best you're gonna find on any pair of earbuds, no matter where you look. And noise cancellation, it's solid. Just make sure you don't expose yourself to environments where sonic disturbances could happen, because these will crackle like crazy. So despite that, one might think, okay, how could Apple actually upgrade the previous generation AirPods Pro? Because they were pretty pro before. I have to admit, they did a surprisingly good job finding things to upgrade. I mean, there's still a couple things left, like, um, lightning really apple you're still putting lightning on these stupid things i think it's time to switch to type c like what you do with the siri remote okay other than that one omission they've added so many different upgrades to this that yeah it really does improve the user experience with using airpods pro 2. finding them when you're lost is better the sound quality is better for audio files the battery life lasts longer like everything that you can think of they actually upgraded it and it works very well so you know what? I'm going to actually rank this the best product that came out in 2022. And it's one of my favorites. I really hope it does not have the exact same issue that I had with my previous generation of AirPods Pro. So I guess if something like that happens, then I guess a future video will come to explain my frustration with that. But I haven't had that issue yet. In fact, actually these things are rocking very solid. Yeah, good job, Apple. I bought these on launch day, so I paid full price and you can still get these at a discount on certain sites, I believe. So yeah, despite that I paid full price, it was worth it. I absolutely love these things so much. And would I rank these better than AirPods Pro 1? Is it that good enough to recommend to everyone else? Yeah, actually. If you were in the market for AirPods Pro, don't get AirPods Pro 1, get these. They have a lot of meaningful upgrades over the first generation Pros that I think you would really appreciate. So that's my review of AirPods Pro 2. I love these things, use them, they're great. All right, thank you for watching. Do me a favor and interact with the stuff below. My name is Alpha Dewolf. Random Alpha, signing out.